Welcome back, True Seeker. In the headlines, another tragedy in Hollywood. This time it's actor Kenneth Mitchell, dead at age 49 from ALS. And you can see in the numerous headlines, it's emphasized that he was in Star Trek Discovery and Captain Marvel. We're going to look at this and also look at it in light of Lou Gehrig, who made ALS a household name when he announced his diagnosis way back in 1939. So notice, dead at 49, and ALS equates to 49 in Gematria. If you're new here, Gematria is the Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words. It's very simple. It's based on the alphabetic order forwards and backwards. And if you run the alphabetic order in reverse, meaning A becomes the 26th letter, O becomes the 15th, S becomes the 8th. You add those three letters together, ALS equates to 49. And as we so often see when these celebrities die, by the numbers, just like how there's the song out there, Murder by Numbers, where killing's the sport of the elected, it's as simple as ABC is 1, 2, 3. We see that when they die, it's in sync with their birthday. Kenneth Mitchell was born November 25th. He passed February 24th, 91 days after his birthday. Marvel. Chimatria 91. Made his name in Star Trek and the Marvel film Captain Marvel. Another familiar pattern we see in celebrity death again and again is the number 38. And the word death has a Gematria value of 38. So does murder, so does killing, so does RIP. But he died 38 weeks after the death anniversary of Lou Gehrig, who died at age 37, meaning Lou Gehrig died in his 38th year of life. And funny enough, Captain Marvel in history came out on March 8th. If you measured from the birthday of Lou Gehrig, June 19th, to the death. It was also a span of 251 days, which is the 54th prime, and baseball equals 54, like there's 54 outs in a game. Captain Marvel also has the gematria of 54 when you apply numerology. But with regards to the Star Trek series, Star Trek Discovery, that he's remembered for, notice that from the last episode he was in, Season 3, Episode 13, That Hope Is You, Part 2, in his last appearance on the show, after his Lou Gehrig's diagnosis or ALS. That episode aired January 7th, 2021. From that episode's air date to his passing was 163 weeks and two days later. 163 is the 38th prime number. It was also 37 months and 17 days. Again, reminding us that Lou Gehrig passed at age 37. But if it's 37 months and 17 days, that means he also died in the 38th month since the release of that episode. And again, in Gematria, death equates to 38 when you just run the alphabetic order forwards. Also, the very first episode of Star Trek that he appeared in was Battle at the Binary Stars, which came out September 24th, 2017. From the release of that episode to his death was exactly 77 months on the nose. Died February 24th. Kenneth, his name has the Gematria 77, and again, he died at age 49. 7 times 7 is 49. The square root of 49 is 7. Again, pay attention in Hollywood. When these people pass prematurely, the numerical rituals are very obvious. And um, when it was first announced that he had ALS, they're saying he found out in 2018, but he didn't announce it to the public until February 28th, 2020. And you can see right here from people.com, it said, Star Trek Discovery's Kenneth Mitchell reveals ALS diagnosis. Well, funny enough, that was on the 59th day of the year. Star Trek has that gematria of 59. So, perfect day for the announcement. And then um, looking back at Lou Gehrig announcing ALS, his diagnosis on his birthday, notice what day he went to the Mayo Clinic where he ended up receiving this diagnosis. He, he went there on June 13th. Of course, that's the day leaving 201 days left in the year. 201 is the number of the Jesuits who serve the Catholic Church, that same Catholic Church that has a huge hand in the medical world. Again, the biggest uh, chain of private hospitals in the world is that of the Catholic Churches, just like how they have the biggest chain of private schools as well, Catholic and Jesuit private schools. But again, 
we're on the Catholic Church's calendar. We're speaking their language. You know, we're talking about Hollywood and Death by Numbers, where Hollywood's greatest films are all essentially gangster films paying tribute to Italy and the mob. So the thin line between the Catholic Church, the mob, and the Jesuits. But, um, yeah, just the same numbers, same patterns, some same dates. Same type of stuff, just over and over and over again. So, R.I.P. to Kenneth Mitchell. And, um, it's just amazing how much money is raised for these things that there's just never any real solution for. I remember when I was first uh, learning about geometry, it's back around the time that the ice bucket challenge was going on. And I, I remember living through the reality of my friends mocking me for sharing this information with them and what was actually going on in the world and then uh, competing with each other doing the ice bucket challenge. And I just thought, what a joke humanity is. So, Again, they'll never tell you the truth about where this disease and illness comes from. And again, it's the food that's no longer organic. It's the supposed medical advancements that we don't need. It's what's in the air and the water and the contamination of the earth. Again, there's consequences to polluting our environment, but big industry can't have you know that. Instead, they want to peddle their supposed cures to you, which really just cost a fortune and don't do much for you in the end if they don't do you any even and sooner. So we'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. And until next time.